Thanks, Jim. Justin Stone here from EliteBaseball.tv. And I've had this conversation recently with several professional scouts and professional coaches. See, in our industry, oftentimes we do player comps. What that means is comparing a player that we're evaluating now to a player currently or of yesteryear. And you probably do this as a father and a son, a mother and a son, a mother and a daughter that's watching the game and say, hey, you know, I really like the way Matt Carpenter swings the bat. Why don't you pick up the bat and make his move? Now, here's the problem with that. Even with players of similar sizes, let alone age, have completely different under-the-surface body characteristics. They may be the exact same height, the exact same weight, the exact same build. However, under the surface, they can be completely different as hitters. And this surely goes to, in case for a professional player compared to what a 10-year-old can or cannot do. So where am I going with this? What this means is it's very difficult to compare players without knowing their mobility limitations, restrictions, flexibility limitations, restrictions, and stability limitations and restrictions. All of these play a factor into the way your body moves when you swing a bat or you throw a pitch. So if you were truly going to do a comparison, you would have to compare, compare players that had the exact same mobility, flexibility, and stability limitations. Because otherwise, the move that one player might make at the professional level that you're asking your son or daughter to emulate can be completely wrong for you. And here's something else that we know. We've tested hundreds of youth players now and done their mobility assessments. Generally, younger players have a lot more mobility than what they're going to have when they become an adult. Why? Of course, having more muscles as we get older is going to limit some of our body movements somewhat. So younger players usually are uber mobile. They can move their body in a lot greater range of motion than what most of our professional players can do. So simply what this means is they need bigger moves to take the slack out of their body. So the move that a player makes and they're hitting or they're throwing won't necessarily match up to what a professional player needs to do with his body who probably has more limited range of motion. Plus, we know that younger players often aren't able to control the body like a professional player can. So when you see Javier Baez make a huge move in his his load and his stride, and you ask a young player to duplicate that that doesn't have the motor skill control or the body awareness, well, of course, we're setting, themselves, setting them up for failure. With younger players, generally, we need smaller moves that are easier to control, and they can build on that as they gain body awareness, what we call proprioception, that's the mind's eye, as they get older. So what we need to do first is figure out what my body's limitations are. That's why I'm so a big of a proponent of assessing youth athletes in what their mobility, flexibility, stability, and functional strength pluses and minuses are. Because once you understand that, now we can start to pattern their swing or their throw to what their body wants to do or is capable of doing. So when I've been talking to scouts of this last week, they said to me, so you wouldn't touch a player without knowing the player's mobility first? I said, absolutely. And that's the first thing that we do when they come into our building. I don't touch a player's mechanics until I know what his body characteristics are and what I'm working with under the surface. You cannot know that from looking at a player on video or from the outside. So for you, you can come and check that assessment program out and do it at home. At EliteBaseball.tv, we have the videos that show you how to do the assessment a worksheet to complete it, and then you can figure out on your own whether your mobility restrictions are affecting the way you are swinging a bat or throwing a ball. Check it out today at EliteBaseball.tv. Get yourself moving better, more athletically, and most importantly, providing better performance on the field because fitting a swing or a pitch that fits your body is always going to be the most efficient. Until next time, this is Justin Stone with EliteBaseball.tv, and we'll see you on the field.